Good morning guys, it is Thursday, Vlogmas day three, and I am downstairs putting on my makeup. Um, I got up pretty early this morning because I kind of have a lot to do this morning before I start work, so I just kind of wanted to get up and get my day started. Um, this weekend I'm going to a cabin with a couple of my friends. Um, I know it's kind of hard right now with everything um, but I know basically what they've all been doing we all got tested this week for COVID to just be safe and um, we were all a negative so I feel comfortable going obviously I'm pregnant so I've been extremely like cautious with what I do um, but like I said, I talk to these girls literally every single day and I kind of know like where they've been and what they've been doing and I feel really comfortable. So we are doing that this weekend. Um, it's just a couple of my like best friends from college. We're going and just doing like a little Christmas weekend and we're gonna rent an Airbnb and basically stay there all weekend. I don't think we have plans to like leave the cabin. So it'll just be a nice like cozy weekend, um, kind of a chain change of scenery from my house. Um, so yeah, very excited about that, but obviously that means I have a lot to do. I took the day off work tomorrow, so um, we're gonna head up like in the morning tomorrow. So. I just need to do like laundry and pack and all of that kind of stuff before you know you go on a cabin weekend. So just doing my makeup really quick and then we'll get started. Makeup is done and now I'm gonna go throw in some laundry. I wanted to show you guys a couple of things that I actually just got in the mail a couple days ago. I will do a little try on of all this stuff on my lunch break. I just don't have time this morning, but um, this is the first thing I got. It's this little jacket from Zara. It is super thin, so I feel like with a turtleneck, this would be super cute. And then I got another one, basically like another jacket. This one's pretty thin as well. This one is from H&M, but I just really like this with like leggings and like a turtleneck under it. I just think they're so cute and bump friendly because I can kind of keep these open. So those are the first two things. And then I bought this hat from Zara. I just liked how um, like thick and warm it was. They're actually really reasonable, so it was only, it was less than $20, but super nice. It had a ton of different colors, which I'm mad I bought this color because I kind of forgot I had ordered this one from Free People, and I just kind of feel like they're really similar, so I think I might return this one and get, like, just a different color, but I love this one from uh, Free People. I'll probably take it out of the bag. But yeah, here's the one from Free People. It's obviously a lot thinner, but I feel like they're so similar. I'll maybe try them on and see if I like one or the other better, but those are the two hats I got. I always buy my socks at H&M, and I always buy all black. My friend actually taught me this, Caitlin, if you're watching. Um, she always just buys all black, so that way when you do your laundry, you don't have to like worry about like matching them. They all just go together, so... Just a little tip. I'm trying to convince David to do that because his socks are a nightmare. Um, and then I bought just some simple like knitted gloves just to have because again, if you know me, I am the least prepared for winter always. I never wear a jacket. I never have gloves. So I'm trying to change that up. I obviously always have a hat on, but never have gloves or jackets. So 
getting jackets, getting gloves. I got a pair of leather gloves I'll show you also. Both of these are from H&M, if I didn't say that. And then these are some leather gloves from Urban Outfitters, and I think they're so cool. Um, I just wanted kind of a dressier pair, because obviously these are just like super casual, but I thought these were super cool, kind of fun. So I got those at Urban Outfitters. And then I bought this down jacket from H&M. I loved the like creamy blush color. I think it's super cool. And it has a nice hood, it has like a really thick collar on the inside, which is super warm. And I sized up so that it will fit me all the way through the winter. Um, but yeah, I think it's super cute, super warm. So just being a little bit more prepared this year for winter because I, like I said, I've never really been one to do that. So I'll try all of this on when I'm on my lunch break. Okay, I'm gonna go to work. I'm working from home today, so I'm just gonna go and check in with my team and do some work that I need to get done. And then I will see you guys on my lunch break. Okay, on a quick lunch break, I thought I would show you guys some of the outfits that I plan to bring this weekend. So like I said, we don't really have any plans to like do anything or go anywhere so we're just going to kind of stay at the cabin so i'm keeping it pretty casual and like cozy just because obviously it's winter time so i thought i would show you guys some of the outfits that i'm kind of putting together right now don't mind the mess behind me we are redoing this room into like a family room so we just bought a tv and it's just kind of stuck in here for now but this is one of the outfits um i'm thinking for Saturday during the day I would wear this um, the jackets obviously Zara the turtlenecks the one I wore yesterday from H&M and then basically live in these little spank leggings because they're so comfy so I think I might wear this and then we plan to go on like this like winter uh, walk so I'll probably take this off and then wear my bigger jacket and maybe a hat which I actually want to try on those hats so let's do that Okay, here is the Zara hat, which I really like. I knew I probably would, and I'll probably end up keeping both of these, even though they're so similar, but I really like this. It's super cute, and I feel like this color will look good with um, that warmer jacket that I have. So that's hat number one. And here's the Free People hat, which I also really like. It's super cute, so I'll probably end up keeping both, but I really like this one. Okay, and here is the winter coat, which I think is so cute. Fits my bump pretty well, and I still have, like, more room to grow. And I feel like for being pregnant and wearing, like, a big puffy down coat that isn't black, it's pretty flattering. Um, I would just stick true to size, though, if you're not pregnant right now. Um, but I think it's so cute. It has this, like, really, like, high collar. I don't know if you can really see it like right here and then a nice hood super warm and I think this was $70 which for like a winter jacket is actually pretty reasonable and yeah really like it wow I don't think I've ever liked a winter coat this much so that's good okay here is what I'm gonna wear down there tomorrow so it's super comfortable and lightweight because we have a long car ride so I got this shirt from Zara it's kind of like a I don't know what this material is you can kind of see it's like textured it's kind of like corduroy and like suede mixed I'm sure it has a name but I'm like really bad about that so it's just this long like over shirt it's a tank top and my leggings a lot of my friends haven't really seen me since i've had a bump so i'm so excited for them to finally see it and like probably be able to feel her kick and stuff so i'm really excited for that but i think this is gonna be just my friday outfit oh my gosh so out of breath um this is probably what i'm gonna wear home on sunday we're just gonna probably get up and leave in the morning so yeah um i feel like you can definitely tell my vibe i usually wear like an undershirt of some sort and then like an overlay it's just kind of what i feel most comfortable in right now and obviously it's the winter so just like adding layers and i think the trick to the belly is to wear something tight and then for me i like to wear something overlay just to like hide some areas but i feel like it's more flattering when you wear something tight which is so not 
what I normally do, but it's just kind of what I feel looks the best on me right now. Um, I did want to say that none of the stuff that I've tried on is maternity. I often will just like size up one or something like that. Obviously the stuff is all like very oversized, so just thought I would note that if you guys do want to purchase any of this and you're not pregnant, it'll all fit you. So yeah, I wasn't going to really show this, but being pregnant, you literally have to try on everything. I usually would just probably like throw pajamas in a bag and go, but things just fit a little differently now. So I just wanted to like make sure that it all looked okay. So Saturday night we're doing like a Secret Santa gift exchange and I thought it'd be kind of cute to wear like Christmassy pajamas. So I got these pajamas from Hannah Anderson, I think is the brand. I'll link it below. Um, but David actually got matching ones. So these are what our Christmas pajamas are like this year. And then of course I wanted to put this little overlay on just because again, makes you feel a little bit more comfortable. So this is what my little Christmas jammies are gonna look like. Then this is probably gonna be the last thing that I bring. It's just like another cozy outfit, probably what I'll sleep in one of the nights. I actually wore this on Vlogmas day one. I just didn't really talk about it. This is just like an oversized crew neck sweater from Zara and then these leggings are also from Zara which I don't feel like I'm gonna be able to wear that much longer because the elastic is getting like like cuts me off so probably only have like a month left in these but um, yeah that's just another outfit all right and that is basically what I'm gonna bring this weekend which helps a lot so when I go to pack tonight it'll go really fast um, but yeah, now let's go make some lunch and then I gotta go back to work. It's one of those days that I wanted to eat lunch at like 10.30. I didn't really eat a big breakfast, so I'm like so hungry. I think I'm gonna make some leftover enchiladas maybe. Yeah, that sounds pretty good. All right, leftover enchiladas it is. So I'm gonna heat these up and then I actually might put some rice with it just because i feel super hungry so i'm gonna heat both of these things up so here are the enchiladas i'm gonna add just a little bit of avocado just to you know bring in some greens and then i'm gonna put a little bit of lettuce just because i like a little bit of lettuce on my enchiladas so I'm gonna just do a little bit of that. And then of course, a little sour cream and a lot of Cholula. All right, well, that was like a five minute lunch that looks amazing. So I'm gonna eat this and actually get back to work. All right, I just hopped off a work call and I thought I would open up day three of the advent calendar. So let's find day three. Here it is. This has been so fun. I like love this idea. Ooh. I could not figure out what this was because this is what the packaging says. So I gotta focus. So it says this, but on the other side, it's a lip balm. I've actually never heard of this brand before, but it says that it's 34% shea butter and it's for long lasting protection on your lips. Oh, it's a cute little package. Oh, it smells really good. Oh, wow. Okay, I actually really, really like that. Oh my gosh. You guys, so far, my lips are gonna be like so hydrated this winter. This is so fun to like try all these different brands. Like I've never heard of this brand before, but I really like that. Like I said, I will link whatever I open uh, in the description below if you guys wanna check it out. But I really like this. This is very close up, but I was just looking at my lips and I actually really like what it did to my lips, like the color of it. So the balm itself isn't really like tinted and i did have lip liner on but that was like hours ago and i've ate and drank 
the whole time so yeah i really like what it looks like i feel like it made him look like kind of like a pale pink which is super pretty i'm not really sure how it did that but i like it i am just wrapping up work it is almost five o'clock david just got home he's just finishing something i don't even really know what you're doing but you're finishing something up say hi hello <laughs> and i don't know are we gonna try to go for a walk or do you think it's gonna get too dark uh, if we leave in like the next 15 minutes, we might be okay, but it gets dark so early now. It's like I know. barely past 4.30. It's like painful. It's like 4.45 right now and literally in like a half hour, it's going to be dark. So maybe we could at least just like go around the block or something just to get like a little. Yeah, we can get out for a little while. <laughs> it's like. We'll stay where the, hopefully the street lights are on. Yeah. Uh, that is, I know I say that all the time and we act like it doesn't happen every year you would think we're used to it but i really wish they would just take daylight savings away and it not be a thing but anyways um yeah i'll check in with you guys once i fully finish up work officially done with work for the week and it feels so good my friends and i were saying how genius we were for taking our planning this trip this week because last week was thanksgiving so we had a short week at work and the following week of that always seems like so long and slow so we were like we're genius for taking the day off tomorrow so we already have another short week um so maybe next week will really suck but i'm not gonna think about next week yet i'm just happy to be done and be on the weekend already so clearly we didn't make it for a walk before it got super dark out so i think i'm gonna clean up the house and then what was I going to do? Start packing a little bit. And then we're actually going to get takeout tonight because we wanted to do like a little date night since I'm going to be gone for the weekend. And I feel like anytime either of us are gone, we like to do like a date night before we leave just to like spend a little time together before. So I think we're going to order from our favorite like southern fried food place. I think that's what we decided on. So obviously I will show you. I was just gonna start packing up some things and I wanted to show these um, I got a couple for Christmas last year and I keep seeing them at TJ Maxx and they're literally I think $25 so it's basically very classic games but they come in this like really cool sleeve and they look like a vintage like book um, they are on anthropology for like $50 on Amazon for 50 like they're pretty expensive but I have found all of them that we have. I think we have three now, all at TJ Maxx. So if you guys want to buy some cool board games, definitely look there. Um, I just think they're so cool. Let me open this. I actually just bought this one a couple weeks ago, so we haven't even played it yet, but they're just like super cool. They're like um, actually like fabric bound, and then everything inside is like kind of like old school looking which I think is so cool these are the scorecards um, this is like the little shaker I don't know I just think they're so cool I think they're like amazing gifts I actually meant to put this in my gift guide that's kind of why I bought it and then I forgot so um, I just think they're really cool and I'm gonna bring this to the cabin and then I'm also gonna bring this puzzle just because we aren't leaving the cabin so i thought this would be kind of fun to set out and just like do throughout the weekend um it is milwaukee's shoreline with um just like all these like landmarks that milwaukee is known for and the girls that i am going to see we all met in milwaukee so i thought it was kind of cute and i'm gonna just bring those as something to do we just got back from picking up our food. Obviously, we can't go to any restaurants, so basically have to do just like pick up. Um, but we got it from one of our favorite restaurants here. It's called Revival. If you live in the Twin Cities area or you come here, you should definitely try it. It's so good. I think these are just a bunch of sauces. Their pickles are so good. What is this? Let's see. I think that's mashed potatoes. Okay, they're mashed potatoes. 
so good. What else did we get? I think this is the mac and cheese. So it's basically like southern food. You can get like hush puppies. Okay, that's the mac and cheese. And here's the chicken. We got so much, but we can have some uh, leftovers. Okay, for that tomorrow. looks so good. So it's Nashville hot chicken. You can get it not hot, but we obviously love the spice. So, yum! I'm so excited. This looks so good. <coughs> so we just finished eating and we were talking we have yet to pick out a baby name, which I always thought, I mean, I feel like before I got pregnant in like a year or two ago, I had like five names that I loved and I was like set on them. And then when I got pregnant, I literally did not like any of them anymore. <laughs> and now we cannot think of a name, you guys. We have like two that we- We have two that I'd say are like front runners, but uh, still like definitely not solidified or just, anything. Yeah, like not ready to like fully commit to those names. So we were like talking about it and David was like, it'd be kind of fun if we asked you guys if you had any names that you like. I feel like we have to preference or like, say like what we like and what we don't really like. For example, I like girl names that could possibly go boy names. Um, I feel like that's like my biggest one. What do you think? Mm, I don't like names that end in like, O-N or E-N just because of my last name being Paulson. So yeah. like if our last name's Paulson, that could be like, like for example, a boy name Lindsay liked was Harrison and Harrison Paulson kind of has a- Yeah, it just doesn't, doesn't really flow sound- that well. It's not horrible, but <laughs> um, what was another one I was just gonna say? Oh, another thing I think Anytime that we've liked a name, it's been shorter. We don't really love like super long names. I mean, there's been a few that I like, but I would say like in general, more like short names are kind of where we are landing right now. So anyways, we won't give you too many rules, but leave in the comments if you guys have any good ideas. We're having a little girl in case you don't know. Um, leave a first and a middle name in the description or in the comments. Ooh, a middle name too, huh? Yeah, because I feel like a middle name just kind of like <clears throat> makes the name. Like I like a middle name just as much as the first name. I like, it's got to sound good together. So that's your guys' weekend <laughs> homework. Yeah, that'll be. Name our baby. <laughs> that'll be fun to see what people say. <laughs> yeah, and then I think maybe Sunday or something we'll go through and like read them off and we'll see if you guys have any winners. So that's your homework. All right, I'm gonna end the vlog here just so we can maybe like watch a movie or something together before I leave for the weekend. Um, but yeah, I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.